guys, it's Sarah from X Square Explorations, and tonight I am doing a vid. Yes, it's been a while. I've been busy, and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But uh, tonight I'm going to be reaching out to my Uncle Doug, and I'm going to be doing a favor, or a request, for one of my fans and followers on Instagram, named James from Scotland. And we're going to be, his request is to reach Joyce. So, let's see what we get. So, with that being said, let's get to the vid. Nice to be back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Let's do it. Hi, guys. So, spear box session. Yay! I know. I do a lot of them. But I love what I do. Soon, once my best friend Sarah, as you guys know and love her, once we're able to meet up, we will be going to Clinton Road or maybe see Tilly's. I have a few ideas ahead. I'm trying to get... See, I don't have my own vehicle. I share a vehicle, so it's hard for me to get out there and explore and show you guys what's out there. Like, show you real content. But my spear box sessions are not fake. They are real. Um, so tonight, we're going to be reaching out to my Uncle Doug. And we're going to be reaching out to Joyce, and we will see what we will get. Alright, so if, all right, if you see a little, like, pause or difference in my video, I pray before each spirit box session, and I also pray afterwards, because I don't allow negativity. So, let's get to it! God damn it. I'm sorry I'm not- yeah guys, I have my mom with me, because last time I did a spirit box session alone, it went bad. I even got a little sick afterwards. So for now on, I'm not doing them alone. And if you guys see anything in the back, please let me know in the comments. So let's do this. Joyce, are you here? You hear, Joyce? Here, let me turn my Bluetooth on. Now, before this, I tried to go live, and it cut out all the messages I had got from Joyce. I communicated with her before making this video, so, and I'm trying to do this for James. I promised him, and I always try to keep a promise, so right now, we're going to try to communicate with Joyce. So, Joyce, are you here, sweetie? Joyce, I'm sorry to bother you again, hon, but James had a few questions for me to ask you. Is that okay? Yeah. Now, Joyce, he wanted to know, were you sad? Could you tell us why you were sad? <laughs> Joyce, can you tell us why you were sad, hon? Time. Oh, I, 
keep hearing Andy. Andy keeps coming through. And um, I'm just doing a video. Andy's not with me tonight, but he is protecting me, so. You just ignore it. You gotta stand your ground. So, Joyce, are you. So, why are you attached to James? Yes, James. Why are you attached to James? I like him. Yeah. Yeah, he is a nice guy, isn't he? He is. Alright, Joyce, I'm sorry to bug you again and re ask you these questions, but could you tell us why you were sad? Joyce, do you see the light? Joyce, I'm not telling you what to do, but you do know you could go in it, right? Somebody just called me a fuckhead. All right, no negativity allowed. You must go. I have to. Not allowed here. All right. <laughs> Joyce, you know you could go into the light, right, hon? Okay. Joyce, is there any messages you want to tell your loved ones or James? Is there anything you want to tell James? Joyce, you could go, you could go now, hon, all right? Thank you for communicating with me. I'm going to, I want to communicate with someone else now, okay? All right, thank you. All right, you can't stay, hon, okay? You got to go, go back to James. All right, so... Um, when I went live, and everyone missed it, I know, um, Joyce has said she was stuck. She was sad at the time. And she is aware of the light, but I don't know if she wants to go in it or not. I'm not going to tell somebody what they can and can't do. When she's ready, she'll go. But... At least she's aware of it. I think she has unfinished business. I think she has messages. She wants to get out to her family and loved ones. But she's not threatening. It's just sad that she was sad and she did what she did. Uh, Joyce, quick backstory. Then I gotta, I'm doing something else for my aunt. I promised her. Um, my follower on Instagram, James.
the house he lived in three years prior to them moving in, him and his family, Joyce had, could, um, had took her own life, put it in an appropriate way. And when he moved in, he could sense her and everything. And then he actually started contacting her. Like he would ask her, like, Joyce, if you're here, knock for me. And she would knock. And, and then it just progressed. And she actually got, she actually got attached to him. And he thinks, feels, or he knows that the reason she got attached is because he's nice and he does listen to her. So, and he knows she's not threatening. So, sad story about Joyce. I hope one day she crosses over. I hope her messages get out to her family and loved ones. So now we're going to try to get in touch with my Uncle Doug. Um, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to say what happened to him. I have a few questions for my aunt and my family and my mom. And even I. He was there for me once through a breakup. He actually stayed on the phone with me until I got home. He's a very, he was a very nice guy. So, let's try. Okay. Right. Um, Uncle Doug, are you here? Uncle Doug. Uncle Doug, if you're here, what did you use to call Aunt Jerry? Uncle Doug. I'm here. Oh. Hi, Uncle Doug. Uncle Doug. What? did you use to call Aunt Jerry? <laughs> A moth flew on me. Alright. Alright, well, Roger, if you're here, help my Uncle Doug come through, please. I think I'm who I am. Oh, Uncle Doug, what was Aunt Jerry's nickname? You heard it? And then I heard yo. So I don't know if that was Roger or him. <laughs> Both. It did come through? I didn't even know that was her nickname. Her and my mom would not tell me. Um. Uncle Doug. Are you okay? Yep. Um, Aunt Jerry wanted me to ask you, hold on, before I get to that, Aunt Jerry wanted me to ask you, did you give her signs that you were around her, like play a certain song and make something fall out of her visor? Did you give Aunt Jerry signs that you were there? Well, she misses you a lot. We all miss you, Uncle Doug. Uncle Doug, you can um, ask my cousin Roger for help to get your messages through. So, another question we had for you, Uncle Doug, is why? That was clear. It sounded like he said it felt like the end of the world. He just gave 
Uncle Doug, did you realize after what happened that you were gone? Um, Pop Pop misses you. After you passed, did you give your dad a sign that you were okay? Is there anything you want to tell us? Uncle Doug, what's it what's it like? I think somebody was trying to be wise with me. Like, are you okay? Are you safe? Yes, I am. All right, good. Is there anything you want to tell Ian Jerry? Uncle Doug. <laughs> I heard James again. I'm all, right, I'm sorry, but right now I'm speaking to my uncle. So Uncle Doug, is there anything you would like to tell Ian Jerry? Anything else you want to let her know? I miss her a lot. Uncle Doug, can you tell me her nickname again? <laughs> Uncle Doug. What did you used to call Aunt Jerry all the time? <laughs> Sorry guys. I had a bad call. I'm gonna ask one more time, because I want to make sure I get it clearly. Uncle Doug, I'm sorry to be a pain, but... <coughs> what did you used to call Aunt Jerry? Got it. Thank you, Uncle Doug. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It sounds real nasty. Uh-oh. <coughs> Can I have my coffee, please? Uncle Doug, I wanted to thank you also for being there through my breakup. Of course. Oh, yeah. Tell me. Uh, yep, and you, you actually got a few great nieces and nephews.
great nieces and nephews now. Do you watch over them? I'm sorry. Uncle Doug, you don't have to be sorry. Is there anything you want to tell your dad? Uncle Doug, you could talk through this device, and I'm recording it right now, and we can hear you. Is there anything you want to tell your dad? Uncle Doug, before I go, is there anything you want to tell my mom? I think I... Is there anything you want to say to my mom? <laughs> What's up? Do you have, Mom, do you have any questions for Uncle Doug? You sure? You asked for everything I want to Uncle Doug. Can you just let us know that you're okay? No. All right, Uncle Doug. Thank you to Joyce and Uncle Doug for coming through. Thank you, guys. All right, we love you. All right, I'm going to go. All right. Thank you. You cannot stay, okay? But thank you. Right, bye. Oh, I'm shot. <laughs> what are you I don't know. I couldn't catch that. All right, guys. So I'm doing two videos, two parts. So after this video, I'm going to do another video. And this is a special one. Special one. Thank you to my Aunt Jerry for suggesting it. This is going to be way different. I'm not going to talk to any family members or friends, like, going outside the box. But, uh, again, if you've seen anything or heard anything that I may have missed, please feel free to comment. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channels. And just thank you, and thank you for being patient with me. I am trying to keep uploading content. I know spirit box sessions are probably boring, but um, hopefully soon I'll go somewhere. We can explore and just switch it up a bit. I have a few ideas that I want to do and accomplish, but help me reach the goal of reaching a thousand subscribers because this, this channel is in honor of my cousin Roger because we both wanted to do this together and he's not here. My best friend Sarah and I, this is our passion and we're doing this for our kids as well. So that, thank you guys. Much love to my S Square squad. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in a little bit. Bye.